Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Now let's get into the tutorial. Select the background layer and click on Ctrl-R Command-J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Ctrl-R Command-Shift-A to open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Moving on to HSL adjustments. Here you can find three tabs. Hues, Saturation, Luminance. By adjusting the hues, you can see the color changes happening on the subject or in the background, this is done just to pop up the background colors mostly. In saturation you can increase the vibrance of every single color in this picture. By adjusting the luminance, you can darken or lighten the color available in the picture. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's clean up the skin by removing the dark spots and hair from the skin. Open a new layer. Click on the healing brush, choose layer sample as current and below. Now start healing. Select the copy layer and the cleanup layer. Click on Ctrl G to group the layers. Now click on Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the group. Click on Ctrl or Command E to merge the copy group. By doing this we always do have a copy of what we did. Now, we're gonna perform frequency separation technique. This technique makes the skin smooth without loosing its texture. Okay let's get into it. Select the top layer and click on Ctrl or Command J two times, so we need two copy layers for this technique. Name one layer as blur and another one as texture. Keep the texture layer on top and blur layer below that. Off the texture layer. Click on blur layer, go to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. 10 points of blur recommended approximately. See that you blur the texture of the skin. 
hit on OK once you're done. Now switch on the texture layer by clicking on the eye icon and select the texture layer. Go to Image. Apply Image. On the dialog box, select the layer as Blur. Channel RGB as default. Turn the blending mode to subtract. Opacity 100%, Scale 2. Offset 128. Please see that these settings are same as mine. This is like a kind of a formula. Hit on OK once you're done. Turn the gray layer blending mode to linear light. Click on blur layer. We are about to brush on blur layer. Right click on the brush tool and select mixer brush. Keep the brush settings as same as mine. Start brushing gently on the skin. If overdone, the picture might look odd, so see that you brush smoothly. Okay this is fine. The skin might look flat now, don't worry about that we can correct that by dodging and burning. We have completed the frequency separation technique. Select the blur layer and the texture layer. Click on Ctrl G to group both the layers and naming them as frequency separation. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer, click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the Gray Layer Blending Mode to Soft Light. Select the Brush tool, Masking Colors Black and White. Brush Setting Opacity 100%, Flow 1% or Changeable accordingly. Now select White and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning, burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Let's boost up the tones in the picture. 
Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Let's play with the colors. Boosting up the skin and the background. Let's add some blush to the subject. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool and choose red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Start brushing on the nose and on the cheeks gently. If overdone, decrease the opacity to look natural. Okay, this is fine. Now let's move on to separation of the subject from the background. Open a new level adjustment layer, increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark, using a layer mask. Ok we are done with this step. Let's clear the disturbance in the background. Select on the topmost layer. Click on Shift, Alt, Ctrl E. To merge all the below layer, to form a new layer, select the stamp tool and start cloning. Ok we're done. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Now click on controller command, shift A to open camera raw. Let's now boost up the image using camera raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Ok now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights, and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image, I'm looking for a reddish green color. Ok this is fine for me. Click on the radial filter and make a circle around the subject. This will create a depth around the subject by making the background darker. We can adjust the darkness from basic settings as needed. Ok this is fine. Hit on ok once you're done. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you liked this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates. Follow us on Instagram, link given in the description below.